In three weeks, seven women from the Houston area will go on the ultimate climb. They will spend six days climbing up and down Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. It is a challenge for anyone, but these women have already faced unimaginable challenges and are ready to tackle this one. Eyewitness 2's reporter Jessica Willey is live with their story. Jessica? Yeah, Gina, here at Spots Park along Memorial Drive is where those ladies have been training for that ultimate climb. Not quite the elevation, but the focus is on strength, and these are strong women. Having a hard time today. For a Houstonian, even the hills at Spots Park can be challenging. <sighs> now consider Mount Kilimanjaro. An adventure of a lifetime, why not? That's how these women see the mountain in Tanzania. Not as something to be afraid of, but as something to embrace. <laughs> it is just going to be such a glorious feeling. They've been training for weeks. Each has her own reason, but Becky Pope was the inspiration. So I want to give hope. Becky has just been diagnosed with her third recurrence of ovarian cancer. After she beat the second, she told fitness expert Shanna Ross she wanted to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Shanna was on board and started recruiting other women. Now they're like sisters. It's an incredible bond. <laughs> Among the group, an FBI agent, chiropractor, federal probation officer, geoscientist, and attorney. Each has had her own health challenge from obesity to cancer to HIV, but now they have a common goal, summiting more than 19,000 feet. Once on top... Do the Snoopy dance. <laughs> Cheer. It'll be a very emotional experience, I'm sure. Uh, to prepare, they carry 25 pounds up and down the hills for two and a half hours every Wednesday night, plus other workouts. They are also chronicling their experiences online, and Shannon intends to write a book. We are all given mountains, if we want to use that for a metaphor. We're all given those things in life that come up. It's what we do with it and how we decide to either climb or stand at the bottom and look up and go, oh, I wish. Seven women, six days, one mountain, they say, with an empowering message. To say you can face a mountain, whatever that is in your life, and uh, not only face it, but we can overcome it. And Becky says no one has discouraged her from doing this climb, even with ovarian cancer. In fact, her oncologist is going too. When she returns, she faces surgery as well as chemotherapy. The climb starts September 12th, and you can find a link to their website on ours at abc13.com. Live near downtown tonight, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News.